Photo shoot. 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 Photo sh
cool, cool, cool. And I want to do the other lens and test the bokeh on the other lens. What is that? What is that? And now we're shooting with the aperture wide open. Look at bokeh. And if you take a look at the right, there's these halos around the Rokinon. And, and on the left, it just looks cleaner with the Zeiss. Now, this might be an opinion, but to me, the Zeiss wins in the battle of the bokeh. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the aperture up to f8.0 and we're going to face him into oncoming traffic so that we can get those stars because the Zeiss has a little starification of the bokeh. We're going to see what that looks like. At f f f18, you're not going to see those stars. At f8, you're going to get those nice, beautiful stars that you know you really get out of like professional $100,000 cinema lenses from Carl Zeiss. So we're going to see if that beautiful technology transfers down to this consumer level product at only $800. Here we are at F8. Nice stars. Nice stars. Beautiful stars. We're seeing similar starring on each, but let's go into the laboratory where we can control the situation a little better to see if there's any differences. The higher you bring the f-stop, the more starring you tend to get. We're at 5.6, we're at 6.3, 7.1, 80, oh. and just by the way, we're here on the Zeiss. 80, oh, 90, oh, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 13, and all the way up to F22. Not as great as my 24 to 70 F4, which really produces dramatic lens starring. And now let's take a look at the lens flare on the Zeiss. So there's a flare, looking nice, looking nice. Get that little sweet spot right in there. Now let's go ahead and compare the Rokinon in both starring and flares. 5.6, we're seeing a real nice dramatic star. F8, we're seeing, you know, that's, that's a real, you know, it's, it's a good lens star. So I'll give you that. It's got some good lens starring. And if they could only fix this auto focus motor noise, I might consider getting this over the Zeiss, but at the moment, it's a deal breaker. Let's just push it up to F11, and it only goes up to F16, whereas the Zeiss goes all the way up to F22, so there's another difference. All right, and here's our lens flare test right at F5, and, and, and it's just, while there is a nice flare, there's also a sort of octagonal bokeh pattern that's part of the flare, so that's part of the package. You know, really not cinema quality, but it's- Yes, I will hold, hold on, put this away. Go. Hold these. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna treat this just like my phone. Well, I'm those are gonna... not as expensive. Oh, thank God. Those are not as big of a deal. Yeah. Get out of here! I must have left it in the back. Oh, uh, this is the, the, the Sony. I'm helping. You are so helping. So there you have it. That's the review. The Zeiss is $200 more expensive than the Rokinon at $899 versus $699. However, the fact that the Zeiss is completely silent both during still shots and video makes this a dual purpose lens. And really, in this day and age, a lens that's noisy and that kills your video is sort of subpar. It's substandard. It's expected that a lens is going to be silent. And given that this is pretty much the same price, although $200 cheaper, but for the most part the same price, I would say your money is better spent on this. And I would say that the Rokinon is probably overpriced. Yeah, you're going to get that F1.4, a little bit more light on the Rokinon. But given all the benefits of the Zeiss, plus the brand name Zeiss, you get that T-Star micro contrast coating. And it's just a smaller package overall. To me, it's hands down a no-brainer, this over this, the Zeiss over the Rokinon. So, we just finished up the segment. This is Daniel Paraffin. Any TV credits we should know about? Uh, just, I've been on CISO before. What the heck is, does TV even matter anymore? What yeah, is the, real, what, like is the what is this, what is this? Check me out on Instagram, Snapchat. Instagram, and, Snapchat, and CISO, like Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Every the social media. TV is dead. Internet killed the television. This Basically. is the Hunter Report. We're kicking it live right here in New York City. The train's rolling. We're doing it live. What's up? Thank you. Thank you.